All right. Um, given that there is a constant force that is exerted continuously on a block that is initially at rest on a horizontal surface, the change in kinetic energy of the block while the block is moved from 0 to 50 centimeters is delta k. And the change in kinetic energy of the block is moved to 50 to 100 is delta k2. So compare delta k1 and delta k2. All right. Um, we are given, okay, I see. I think we can use the work energy theorem over here, right? What is the work energy theorem? That work done by, because after all, they are looking for a change of kinetic energy, right? So work done by all the forces is equal to the change in kinetic energy. That's what the theorem says. Um, now, I don't know whether uh, there is a friction acting on this or not, but it doesn't matter. I'll tell you why it doesn't matter. Uh, first off, let's assume there is a friction because it's not given that there is no friction. Let's assume there is a friction which is acting on the left side. We agree that the friction will be same, right? And that's going to be kinetic because the block is moving. So what is the net force acting on a block at any time? Isn't that just F0 minus Fk? Because F0 is constant and Fk is constant. So between 0 and 50, F0 minus k. Between 50 and 100, F0 minus k. 0 to 50, the distance is 50 centimeter. 50 to 100, the distance is 50 centimeter. So work done by all the forces as in F0 and Fk, you can argue that why have you not taken normal reaction in gravity? I can take it, but work done by these two guys is zero because they are at 90 degree with respect to the displacement, right? Fn and Fn is uh, upwards, displacement is on the right, angle is 90. And what is the formula for work? Fd cos theta. The moment you will replace theta with 90 degrees, what is cos 90? Zero. So the work done is zero. That's why I've just ignored Fn and Mg. But anyway, uh, I know that work done by all the forces is change in kinetic energy. And the, the forces, the net force doesn't change from zero to 100 that I just proved. So can't I say that between zero to 100, zero to 50 centimeter, the work by all forces will be same as the work done, uh, let me just write in some other way, work done between 0 and 50 will be same as the work done between 50 and 100 because work only depends on F net, D and theta. F net is same, D is same, I just talked about that, if it's 50 centimeter and theta is same because F net is towards the right side and the displacement is towards the right side, so theta is 0. So if the work is same and work done by all forces is changed in kinetic energy as per the work energy theorem, don't you think I can say that the kinetic energy 1 and kinetic energy 2, change in kinetic energy 1 and change in kinetic energy 2 must also be equal? So it can be option A and B, A because the velocity increases by the same amount between this or because the applied force does the same work, obviously it should be B, right? We just talked about this. That's the reason that the applied force does the same amount of work between those two instances. So it has to be B.